A significant day in the history of Papua and New Guinea, as Australia's Governor-General, Lord Delisle, arrives to officially open the new House of Assembly. A crowd of nearly 5,000 greet His Excellency, accompanied by his daughter, the Honourable Catherine Sidney. Members of the Royal Papuan Constabulary form the Guard of Honour. The occasion marks the opening of the first truly representative parliament elected by the people of the territory. For the first time, elected native members will be in a majority, but official observers believe that the session will be a moderate one as each new member gets to know the ropes. Before a packed house and gallery, the Governor-General makes the opening address. We are all conscious as we meet for the inauguration of the House of Assembly for the territory of Papua New Guinea, that we are participating in an event of great significance in the history of this country. Constitutional evolution is a series of steps along the path of change. In the vast change from tutelage to self-government, each step is of great significance. The inauguration of a legislature with a decisive majority of elected members, elected for the first time from a common roll of electors, is the third such step in the history of the combined territory of Papua and New Guinea. The territory takes its first major step towards self-government. The House of Assembly now becomes the centerpiece and symbol of a new unity in a country aspiring to political and economic independence.